Right, another guy. You know, I like I like actually seeing uh, taller people. You know, it's like <laughs> we're almost eye to eye. Almost. Usually, <laughs> I have to go down a little bit, but in front of me, I have Jordan. Jordan is a return missionary for the LDS Church. You went to Japan, right? Yeah, I went to Japan. Why don't you speak a little Japan? Japanese, 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 there we go. Japanese. So, I think I'll say, 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 I'll uh, Japan about six months ago, the Church uh -huh. of Jesus Christ Latter day okay. Saints. Oh, great. The only thing I know in J Japanese is Ohio gozaimasu because that's, <laughs> is that good morning? Yeah, it's good morning. It's good morning. Okay, well, it's in the afternoon right now. But anyway, we have the show, uh, Have You Experienced Jesus? And we're talking to LDS people because we think it's really important for the Christian body. You believe that you have the only true church, right? And yeah. you believe that there is a missing of the parts, um, the, the precious things that were taken away from the Bible, and that you consider that you have now as truths so I I do this for a reason I, I like to have um, Christians and LDS people uh, get to know you know their ideas and, and so forth and we do in love so I'm not a jerk about this in any way but what we um, are asking is what are those extra parts for you in your in your faith and what you believe because in real in in the Christian faith we believe that sort of we have the fullness yeah. so what are those extra parts that you think you have that are necessary for you to be with God the Father so actually I've thought about this a lot in my life before um, especially when I was on my mission I had a really good friend of mine he's joined he joined the Catholic Church really really good friend we talked all the time about this and one of the things we actually both landed upon him being uh, from Catholicism, um, having converted from yeah. yeah, having converted from Protest, being Protestant, um, we both found that it was probably I mean that big beautiful temple right there yeah. behind us, um, specifically because it teaches you the way to return to your Father in Heaven, how to get back to Him, and it's with your family, of course. I was reading recently in the Bible how it mentioned that Christ um, went on this, I guess, on the Mount when he was transfigured. I was there in Israel just uh, oh, really? two weeks ago. I was, I was there two, two years ago. Oh, you were? Just before I got, just before oh, I left. Oh, praise God. Beautiful place, So did place, you do right? a, a tour? I did. Of Jesus, that's awesome. It was great. Yeah. But when he was there, he, he, his apostles said, should we build a tabernacle in this place? Um, and that time, of course, was a temple. And Jesus Christ said to them, no, you should not tell these things to anyone, um, that these things are very sacred and should be held. And in the do you Bible, know what um, where that was in in the Bible? Do you remember where specifically? Where was that specifically? Yeah, because I don't Give remember that, but you it's, know, it it's probably in, could be there. It's in Matthew um, when they're on the transfigure. The Mount of Transfiguration. Mount of Transfiguration. Yeah. It says right there. Moses' his name comes out. Yeah, Moses and Elijah. Uh -huh. Moses and Elijah appear yep. and all that. Prophet of the law and the prophet uh -huh. of uh, the prophets. Yep. Basically, yeah, we yeah. believe that it was finished and he fulfilled everything. So. You know, the law was now going to Jesus, and the last mm -hmm. prophet was Jesus. He was the prophet of the prophets. Mm -hmm. He was the final. It was, it was a complete, it was complete. completion of, of his work. Yes, but, but he's, as he said, he said, don't, said the things that were revealed here, you're not to be revealed. Um, and so we believe that through time, those things were lost. And that in the temple, I mean, they weren't recorded in the Bible. And in the temple, those things were are re revealed to us. Oh, okay. And that's okay, so you believe that then uh, those those I guess those things that Peter James and John saw and talked mm -hmm. with Jesus yeah. that there are things that Jesus revealed with eternal marriage covenants um, special tokens mm -hmm. and rituals that you do in your temple was given to Peter James James and John is that correct that's what I personally believe okay. after having read I'm not gonna All say right. it's the church's stand <laughs> but for me okay. personally no, that's, that's, that's fine. the way it's always felt it's such a holy spirit but I went there too, so it's such a holy spot. Yeah, this is where the transfiguration was supposed to be had, and yeah, and there's two actual mountains there. There is. Yeah, near same, Nazareth same and near the, Caesarea Philippi. Yeah, yeah you know. same with the tomb, and same, same with everything yeah, yeah. else. There's two yeah, of everything holy stuff there. Holy Sepulchre and the, yep. the garden tomb. You're yep. right. Been there. So that's your point, then. So you think that those missing parts then are really the what's in their temple? Yeah. I mean, I've I haven't studied deeply about a lot of others. I mean, it's going to Japan. I studied a lot about Buddhism and yeah. uh, Shinto, but. Really, I've noticed that, of course, all have come from one spot and all are of the same. Yeah. I mean, we're all of the same family. 
But I guess the only th the only thing that I'm just going to share a little bit is that I I, I have done a, a lot of study in your faith, and I know that um, in your faith you have it, it it goes directly toward the Masonic sort of. Um, Rituals, things that, that have been done in, in the Masonic Temple. There's a, a clear uh, distinction between many of the things that they have done in the Masonic Temple and many of the things that Joseph Smith has has in in your temple too. Would you agree with that? So there's a relationship yeah, between I, masonry and, actually, and Mormonism. I would I would I've actually while I was in Japan, there's a lot of similarities between Shinto and Buddhism and Shinto and Christianity, especially this church. I've traveled the world. I've, I mean, I've been to a lot of different places. That's great. And I've noticed how all religions have come to a similar base, and that is, of course, of God. But many of the things have been changed or altered slightly. Um, there's one thing I learned very dear to me was the thing of truth and what truth is, and how truth is an unchanging thing. And as things change over time, truth has to stay the same. Um, it's to one person maybe Captain Crunch is the best cereal in the world. That's my favorite cereal. But the other one it might be Captain Crunch with berries. berries. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're both similar, but they're very different. But if someone who had the power to say this is correct says it's correct, then it will be correct. Yeah. Um, I can't say it's. I can't say Captain Crunch is the best. Yeah. But because I have heard for myself that Captain Crunch is the best. <laughs> from the person who told me that I know personally that it's true. opinion yeah it's his opinion it's that opinion. actually he considered the best until yeah. you realize and you thought that the berries should <laughs> the extra berries should be needed in order yeah. for that Captain Crunch to taste better <laughs> is that true <laughs> and so I mean it's just like how and but for me I mean with religion I I learned from God directly yeah um, I know God guides us in so many different ways I believe God has guided people to other places Sure. But I know that he has a world, plan yeah. to guide them back to one. Yeah. I mean, with so much going on, there's so much confusion there. I mean, it says one faith, one baptism. Yeah. I believe one that Lord. everyone, yeah, one God, one faith, one baptism. Yeah. I believe everyone has the same chance. Yeah. And that God has a plan, and that plan, there's many paths to get there. For some of my friends, it was through one way or another. But I know that they can, and God will have a plan for everyone at the end. To get back to him. Wow. If they well, the you know, as a biblical believer in, in Christianity, I'm just going to share with you. I, I believe that there's only one way to get back. To, I know that there are philosophies. There's universalism that talks about that there's many ways to get back to God. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe that the only way to get back to God is Jesus Christ. Uh, he's our He's our mediator. So um, the the thing that I just want to ask you is, uh, what do you believe? You're a missionary. What do you believe now with Paul? When Paul claimed that you know God no longer dwells in temples made with hands but he dwells now in our hearts yeah. and that we are now indwelt with God in ourselves that now we become his people when he is in us we as as Christian believers believe that we have the Holy Spirit and God dwells in us and he edifies us and and then we are connected to the the body of Christ yeah. as a unity of faith that we all have you know like you're talking about one Lord yeah. you're talking about one baptism and you're talking about mm -hmm. one faith um, and and that's the thing that we as as the body of Christ we also believe that too we believe yeah. that you know there is only one baptism that saves and the baptism that saves really is God dwelling in you that you have the power of God now in you so you know that's just maybe something that maybe I'm sure you heard yeah I'm sure no, you are aware of um, and I don't know do you believe that it has to be given then by your authority by laying on of your hands or do you think it's possible that God is so big and so mysterious and so incredible that we don't know who he really is in many ways that he knows who the the believer is and he indwells right he comes right in the spirit is all around like you know like Jesus said you know it's like the wind yeah. and we don't know we can't really see the wind but it's like the spirit of God that when you know the spirit comes in it yeah. comes in and so, do you believe that that also has a possibility for the, the body of Christ that we as believers outside of Mormonism could receive his authority and his power? So you've, you've asked me four questions here. It's deep stuff. So the first one was about the temple and how man cannot make a building unto God. But well, no, that God doesn't dwell any longer. God in, in doesn't a, dwell in. He doesn't dwell any longer mm -hmm. with with in a temple made with hands. Yeah. So, with that scriptural reference, there's also 
the idea of how if God commands one to do it, it's not of man's hands anymore. And we believe that God has commanded us to build temples. So, of course, he's not, I mean, we call this his home. It is a place where he can reside. But with that still being said, I mean, God's not going to go to a place that's filthy and dirty and horrible. And that's not what he'll do. He'll maybe send messengers to help in those areas, but he won't go there. Um, so the temple is a place that hmm. we have made to help us to keep clean and to keep holy. Um, to keep, if we keep that place and ourselves clean, we will also be able to feel his spirit more in our lives. Um, just, I know that, I mean, the Catholics, they build a lot of churches. Um, not for Peter or Mary. They don't build them for Peter or Mary, but rather to remember. Mm. Um, they are holy places. Yeah. And so for Sacred us, Oedipuses. I, I agree. Yeah. I've been to many. Yeah. The and Sacred Heart in Paris, I was just yeah. out. It was beautiful. So, I mean, for the temple, for us, it's a place um, that we've been commanded to build so that we can make covenants in a holy place with God. Um, many of the times in the scriptures it talks about people went up to the mountains to make their covenants with God and we believe that the mountains they often there they would almost always take a tabernacle with them um, and the yeah. temple was a representation of that not necessarily the building as being the place for God but a place where we can become make ourselves become yeah. more pure and holy so that we can better commune with God. You know, I, I believe that. I think what you're saying is what you believe. I, I, I do want to share this, not into a, a fin or anything, but just to participate. And that is um, when Jesus died and, and he bled for our sins, that now if we read in Romans, we mm -hmm. understand that that we can never be righteous, we can never yeah. be made worthy. Uh, we're all sinners, mm -hmm. and the only way that we can be reconciled with God is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Of and that's the new covenant that we make as mm -hmm. believers. So now we are actual, you know, connected to God mm -hmm. through Christ's blood. Yeah. And that's the difference, um, you know, Jesus doesn't really tell us that we have to continue to do sacrificing in that sense of the old old way, the yeah, Old Testament, you know, the altars yeah. and stuff. But now he talks about, hey, I, I've been the last sacrifice yeah. for you. I've done it for mm -hmm. you. I Now you just got to believe in me. So I'm the altar. I'm the temple in, in essence. He's the holy of holies. So we enter him uh, through his precious blood. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think that's the difference maybe that you focus on in the, in the temple of uh, the building. So but realistically, in the, in that you think that God dwells there. But we as believers, we as believers as the body of Christ, believe that the God mm. is in us. Yeah. Um, and so now we walk as living temples. And, and we so does that, that make bodies, sense? Our bodies are a temple of God. And Jesus Christ mentioned to just follow him. And in the temple, we're taught ways to follow him. It's not necessarily rituals or anything, but it's ways we're taught to follow him. Yeah. Um, and so it's taking him doing, I mean, if you, Jesus Christ gave us many opportunities, but in order to actually, we can't just believe we have to follow. If we don't know the way, I mean, there's... Yeah, I he's love, the way, though. I, I love mean, working he's... out. And if I if I want to work out, I want to get big like Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. I got to read the Arnold. The yeah. big old book this big. Study it. It's like an Arnold Bible. Properly. Yeah, everything. And so to yeah. do that, I have to know it. Yeah. And for me, as much knowledge as I can attain about Christ, the more... I don't... What's this word in English? Chanto. Uh, the more able, more clearly I'm able to follow him. Yeah. And the temples has given me more knowledge yeah. of how to follow him. Okay. So you put your focus a lot on the extra parts that's in the temple. Uh, that's the more of the fulfillment of the gospel for, yeah. for your faith. Okay. Great. We keep going on and on yeah, and on. I know that, that there's a lot of people who are watching this. I appreciate you, Jordan, sharing your views. Yeah, I really course. do. Yeah. Um, and it gives people an understanding more of what your faith is about. <laughs> and that's what we're all about sharing. So praise God for that. Thanks so much for hey, stopping by, you. brother. And I wish I could say goodbye. How do you say it? And <laughs> <laughs> sayonara. 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 Okay, sayonara. Here in Temple Square. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.